In 2005, our National Academies responded to a call from a bipartisan group of senators to recommend 10 actions the federal government could take to enhance science and technology so America could successfully compete in the 21st century. Their report was published in a study spearheaded by the industrialist Norman Augustine titled Rising Above the Gathering Storm, Energizing and Employing America for a Brighter Economic Future. In 2010, the same group released a follow-up report, Rising Above the Gathering Storm Revisited, rapidly approaching Category 5. Charles Vest, the former MIT president who worked on both reports, says, The subtitle says it all. The committee's conclusion is that in spite of the efforts of both those in government and the private sector, the outlook for America to compete for quality jobs has further deteriorated over the past five years. Here's a little dose of reality about where we actually rank today, says Vest. Sixth in global innovation-based competitiveness, but 40th in rate of change over the last decade. Eleventh among industrialized nations in the fraction of 25 to 34-year-olds who have graduated from high school. Sixteenth in college completion rate. Twenty-second in broadband access. Twenty-fourth in life expectancy at birth. 27th among developed nations in the proportion of college students receiving degrees in science or engineering, and 48th in quality of K-12 math and science education. This is not a pretty picture and cannot be wished away, said Vest. Here at BYU's College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences, we know we cannot address all the nation's challenges. But we can prepare students who will be able to compete with the best scientists and mathematicians in the world. This is not an easy task. It demands great faculty, outstanding students, superior facilities, and significant financial resources. We appreciate the strong support we've received over the years from numerous alumni, friends, and industry partners, and we'll need the help from those more than ever as we strive to rise above the challenges of the future. To perpetuate growth in the college, we have initiated a campaign to fund two endowments of $10 million each, one to strengthen our undergraduate program and the other to strengthen our graduate program. The goal of the undergraduate endowment is to provide widespread opportunities for all interested students to be taught and mentored alongside professors engaging in real, meaningful research. We have long had the philosophy that our students learn much better by doing science and mathematics and just learning about it in the classroom. We get a lot of feedback from students and from colleagues at other institutions that these experiences have been very, very beneficial for our students, that they have helped prepare them for whatever their next step is. This advantage is reflected in BYU's consistent top 10 ranking for students who go on to earn doctorates. Additionally, BYU is rated 11th in the nation for recruiters for providing top-rated graduates, according to the Wall Street Journal. Currently, the college spends over $1.5 million a year to support undergraduate mentorships. The money comes from a variety of sources, budgeted funds, external research grants, and donated funds. As we operate in this uncertain economic climate, we have recognized the desirability to secure additional funding sources in order to maintain and possibly grow this important mentoring activity. Failure to provide ongoing research experiences for our undergraduate students will endanger our competitive edge. Successful undergraduate mentoring relies on strong graduate programs that energize our faculty and engender world-class research teams that involve undergraduate students. One goal that we have for our graduate programs, or really for the departments as a whole, is that we pursue meaningful research projects that are ideally cutting edge and really pushing back the frontiers of knowledge. Now, some of those projects are very meaningful to including undergraduate students, and they can get involved in a very meaningful research project that they might not be able to entirely on their own. Recruiting top graduate students has become extremely competitive, akin to recruiting athletes. Many universities fly prospective graduate students to see their facilities and to become acquainted with faculty and other students. They also provide incoming students with tuition waivers, health insurance, and significant stipends, 
Our departments are doing their best, but competing financially with other universities is becoming more difficult. To assist our departments in securing the best possible candidates, the college plans to use funding from the endowment to provide several fellowships each year for excellent graduate students. Each of the two endowments we plan to establish would deliver approximately $500,000 a year. For the undergraduates, this would ensure our continued support of vital mentoring programs. For the graduate programs, it would enable us to attract top students to our departments and raise the quality of education throughout the college. President Spencer W. Kimball said, We expect that Brigham Young University will become a leader among the great universities of the world. Out of this university, there will rise brilliant stars who will touch men and women the world over long after they have left this campus. We invite you to make a permanent investment in the future with a financial contribution to these endowments. Furthermore, we request your assistance by finding friends and acquaintances who are able to help. If we work together, we can ensure that students leaving BYU's College of Physical and Mathematical Sciences will make a valuable impact in the world.